For nearly a decade, lithium-ion batteries have been the beating heart of every Tesla electric car. They've powered millions of vehicles, won over fans, and redefined the concept of electric performance. But now, in 2026, that same heart is beginning to show signs of fatigue. The technology that was once a symbol of innovation has become an obstacle to the future. The problem isn't efficiency or range. It's something deeper, more dangerous, and more limiting. The risk of combustion and excessive battery weight have become the main culprits in an industry striving to be lightweight, safe, and affordable. Elon Musk, as always, saw this before anyone else. While most automakers were still trying to optimize what already existed, he decided to start from scratch. After all, what good is a cheap electric car if the battery remains expensive, heavy, and unstable? The new Tesla Model 2 was born with an audacious promise to be the first truly affordable electric vehicle selling for under $25,000 without compromising safety or performance. To achieve this, Tesla would need to solve two challenges that plague the entire industry. Eliminate the risk of fires and reduce battery weight without losing power. The truth is, lithium has always been a difficult material to handle. It's reactive, flammable, and requires an entire control system to prevent it from becoming a bomb on wheels. If punctured, overheated, or exposed to water, the results can be catastrophic. Furthermore, lithium-ion batteries are heavy and take up significant space, forcing engineers to reinforce the chassis and cooling systems. Ultimately, what should be a source of efficiency ends up becoming a burden that compromises performance and the final cost to the consumer. With the Model 2, Tesla decided to break this cycle. The idea was simple yet ambitious. Create a new generation of batteries that were lighter, safer, and above all, cheaper. And it wasn't just an upgrade. It was a complete paradigm shift. Musk knew that the project's success depended on reinventing what everyone considered immutable, battery chemistry itself. That's where the focus came from. Aluminum, an abundant, recyclable, and incredibly durable metal, capable of conducting energy stably and without the risk of spontaneous combustion. Behind the scenes at Gigafactory Texas, engineers and chemists worked for years to make this vision possible. While the world debated the limitations of lithium, Tesla was already testing prototypes of a new composition. Musk even commented at one of the 2025 conferences that the real breakthrough wouldn't come from a new car, but from a new battery. And now, in 2026, that leap has finally happened. The quiet aluminum revolution is beginning to take shape, and it promises to transform not just electric cars, but the entire portable energy industry. Internal tests showed that the biggest challenge wasn't just replacing lithium, but ensuring the new technology could withstand the same extreme conditions. After all, a car battery can't fail on an icy road or under a scorching sun. Aluminum, however, proved more stable, corrosion-resistant, and capable of operating over a much wider temperature range. Furthermore, its simple structure reduced the need for auxiliary components, cutting costs and weight in one fell swoop, something lithium never managed to deliver. Swapping lithium for aluminum wasn't just a material change, it was a game changer. When Tesla revealed the first details about its new battery, many experts were skeptical. Aluminum? The metal used in soda cans? It seemed unlikely that something so common could handle the responsibility of powering an electric car. But that was precisely the secret. Aluminum, besides being light and cheap, has chemical characteristics that, when combined with porous graphene and non-flammable electrolytes, create a battery with such revolutionary performance that it seems like science fiction. Forget the traditional graphite anode and flammable solvents. The new cells use an anode made of pure metallic aluminum and a graphene cathode with a water-based or ionic liquid electrolyte. This structure allows aluminum ions to move at an incredible speed, almost three times faster than lithium ions. The result? 
a recharge time that simply blows away everything we know today. In laboratory tests, the battery was fully charged in less than one minute. That's right, 60 seconds. You can fill up the tank while sipping a coffee. But the magic isn't just in speed. Aluminum ion batteries have also proven incredibly durable. Unlike lithium ion batteries, which suffer from the formation of dendrites, those metallic needles that destroy the cell from within, aluminum remains stable even after thousands of cycles. In tests, prototypes surpassed 10,000 cycles while maintaining 90% capacity. That means decades of use without noticeable degradation. And if you think about it, it's easier for an owner to change cars than for the battery to lose performance with this new chemistry. Power density has also taken a giant leap. These new batteries are estimated to deliver up to four times more energy than lithium-ion batteries, which translates into instant acceleration, more efficient regenerative braking, and much more responsive electrical behavior. For a car with Tesla's sporty DNA, this is a real boon. Imagine a compact vehicle like the Model 2 with the same vigor as a Model S Plaid in everyday sprints. The secret? It's not the engine, it's the battery. Another detail that surprised the engineers was its thermal stability. While lithium requires extreme care with heating, ventilation, and active cooling, aluminum is much more tolerant. It works well between 10 degrees and 90 degrees without degradation or loss of efficiency. And even during fast charging, the internal temperature rarely exceeds 80 degrees C. This eliminates much of the need for cooling systems, which, in addition to cutting weight and cost, also simplifies the vehicle's entire mechanical system. There's also an emotional element to this technology. For the first time, a high-performance battery doesn't rely on rare metals or special extraction conditions. Aluminum is ubiquitous, and its production is much cleaner. This generates a sense of industrial independence, but also a reconnection with what's essential. Using an abundant and recyclable metal as the foundation of a technological revolution is almost poetic. And for those who follow Tesla closely, this choice seems like the kind of decision Musk would make on a Saturday morning impulse. When looking at aluminum from an environmental perspective, the revolution becomes even more evident. This metal, which many underestimate because it's present in packaging and everyday utensils, actually holds enormous potential to transform not only the automotive industry, but the entire clean energy chain. While lithium represents only 0.02% of the Earth's crust, aluminum represents 8%. The difference isn't just statistical. It completely changes the logic of extraction, cost, and environmental impact. It's like trading diamonds for sand in a world where demand only grows. This abundance has a direct impact on people's pockets. Lithium-ion battery production is still expensive, requiring complex industrial processes, toxic chemicals, and difficult-to-extract metals. Aluminum-ion batteries, on the other hand, are estimated to cost less than $40 per key dollars, half what is currently paid for lithium-based solutions. This means that, for the first time, battery price will no longer be the biggest obstacle to producing an affordable electric car. The equation changes. The cheaper the material, the more viable it becomes to democratize the technology. But perhaps the most underestimated aspect of this shift is the environmental impact of recycling. Lithium batteries consume a lot of energy to be reused, and the extracted elements are not always fully recoverable. Furthermore, Many recycling processes generate toxic waste and release polluting gases. Aluminum, on the other hand, is 100% recyclable and requires up to 70% less energy to reprocess. This isn't just a technical advantage, it's a powerful argument for increasingly conscious consumers. Another critical issue is the use of rare earth metals. Current batteries rely on cobalt, nickel, and manganese all of whose extraction chains are mired in geopolitical controversy, child labor, and environmental degradation. The new aluminum ion cells simply eliminate these ingredients from the formula. This means that, 
In addition to being cheaper and more efficient, the new battery is also more ethical. It's rare to see cutting-edge technology go hand-in-hand -hand with social responsibility. But here, this union happens naturally. In Tesla's context, this choice also represents a brilliant strategic move. By reducing dependence on scarce materials and unstable regions, the company gains more control over its own production. This means less vulnerability to international crises, fewer supply chain disruptions, and greater agility in scaling manufacturing. In a world where logistics has become central to the game, using aluminum isn't just a technical decision. It's a move toward industrial sovereignty. Another direct effect of the abundance of aluminum is the possibility of local production. Instead of relying on intercontinental routes to import lithium from South America, cobalt from Africa, or nickel from Asia, Tesla can use aluminum mined and processed on a regional scale. This drastically reduces logistics costs and transportation-related emissions. The electric car, already a symbol of sustainability on the streets, is also becoming sustainable behind the scenes. All this lightness, efficiency, and affordable cost would be useless if the car exploded at the first crash. And with lithium-ion batteries, this fear has always haunted the minds of those interested in an electric car. Lithium chemistry is unforgiving. Exceed 150 dridokine, and the system enters thermal collapse. A collision, a puncture in the cell, or even overheating can turn the car into a torch on wheels. It was as if the technology carried an invisible, silent, yet always lurking risk. With the new aluminum ion battery, this risk virtually disappears. And that changes everything. The electrolytes used in this new formula are stable up to 300 degrees, twice the limit of traditional batteries. And they don't release flammable gases when heated. This means that even under extreme thermal stress, such as in an accident or breakdown, the cell remains intact. The tests conducted by the University of Queensland and GMG were radical. Short circuits, punctures, overheating. The aluminum cells withstood it all. They maintained their structure, didn't inflate, didn't leak, and didn't emit dangerous gases. For an everyday car, this represents an unprecedented leap in reliability. And if the problem is water, things get even more surprising. Unlike lithium, which reacts violently to moisture, generating hydrogen gas and even hydrofluoric acid, aluminum remains serene. In the most extreme tests, the batteries were submerged in salt water for 48 hours. The result? No corrosion, no leaks, no structural damage. After drying, they recovered between 92% and 97% of their original capacity. This means that even a flooded Tesla could be restored to service without the risk of explosion. In tropical countries or flooded regions, this resistance becomes a vital advantage. And it doesn't stop there. Overcharge tests also proved impressive. While lithium batteries fail in less than two minutes when doubled in charge, aluminum ion batteries remain steadfast. Even at 200% capacity, there's no gas release, no sudden voltage fluctuations, and, most importantly, no combustion. 2024 data from Ningbo University confirmed this. The volume of gas generated after electrical abuse was less than 0.1%. This, in practice, represents zero risk of explosion. It's the peace of mind electric cars have been missing. Crash behavior is also impressive. In simulations at 50 km h the lithium modules reached over 300 dirichlorens internally and generated pressures of up to 2.5 bar, high enough to cause ignition. The aluminum modules, however, did not exceed 95 de and most importantly, no ignition points were recorded. Thermal propagation between cells was minimal, less than 3 millitred. This prevents the fire from spreading throughout the pack in the event of a localized failure. Containment is so effective that Tesla was forced to rethink the car's entire passive safety structure. And this brings another unexpected benefit, reduced weight. Since the risk of fire has been virtually eliminated, there's no longer a need for thick layers of thermal protection 
or heavy containment structures. Tesla estimates that this change alone eliminates between 30 and 40 kilon of weight from the car. Besides saving materials and space, this directly contributes to the vehicle's performance and range. Safety is no longer an extra layer, but is now integrated into the very nature of the battery, a leap few industries can achieve. Another interesting aspect concerns maintenance and after-sales service. Safer batteries are easier to handle, transport, and replace. Workshops don't need special equipment to deal with combustion risks, and parts logistics become simpler and cheaper. This benefits not only the end customer, but also Tesla's entire support network. The company can ship replacement modules with fewer restrictions, and dealerships don't have to deal with strict safety regulations. The aluminum ion battery isn't just safe for drivers, it's safe for the entire automotive ecosystem. With all this built-in safety, it was natural to imagine that the new battery pack would make the Model 2 heavier, but it was just the opposite. Aluminum's thermal stability eliminated the need for shielding, insulating layers, and active cooling systems. And this opened up a range of possibilities that Tesla engineers didn't overlook. Instead of simply housing the battery in the chassis, they decided to fuse it to the car's very structure, literally. The pack became an integral part of the vehicle's skeleton, connecting the front and rear sections in an architecture called a structural battery. This approach isn't entirely new. Tesla had already tried something similar with the Model Y. But now, with aluminum, everything has become lighter and much more efficient. The cells can operate over a wide thermal range without liquid cooling, meaning radiators, pipes, pumps, and sensors have been discarded. The gain is significant. By removing the cooling system alone, the Model 2 lost between 25 and 35 key. Teasers. And when you add to that the elimination of metal shields and reinforcement plates, the total weight savings could exceed 110 kiliochiri. In a compact vehicle, this weight reduction is a game changer. Range improves significantly because the car requires less energy to move. Estimated numbers indicate that a 45 to 50 kilobari tuand aluminum battery pack can deliver between 400 and 480 kilometers of real-world range. And most interestingly, this is practically the same as a current Model 3 with 57 to 60 kilowatt lithium-ion batteries. In other words, with a smaller, lighter, and simpler battery, the Model 2 can travel as far, or even further, than its older, more expensive sibling. This weight reduction also has a direct impact on performance. Less weight means less rolling resistance, less strain on the engine, and, of course, more agile acceleration. Every 100 kiliter lost can reduce the zero O's or 100 kilometer H time by about zero, 15 seconds, and, at the same time, shorten the braking distance by up to 5%. In a city car, where traffic demands agility and quick responses, this makes all the difference. The Model 2 may be cheap, but it's far from slow or boring. The car's structure also benefits from this lightness combined with the rigidity of aluminum. The material's specific strength allows it to function as a supporting element, absorbing impacts and reducing floor vibration. Tesla engineers estimate that torsional rigidity has increased by up to 15% compared to the base Model 3. This improves the feeling of control in corners, reduces interior noise, and provides a firmer ride even on uneven terrain. It's as if the car is more whole and more connected to the road, and all this without sacrificing interior space. By integrating the battery into the structure, Tesla freed up precious centimeters previously occupied by reinforcements, ducts, and insulation panels. The result? More space for occupants, 